So good afternoon again. We are going to begin our program now. And I want to just first say thank you all for joining us for the International Partnership Student Recognition. Um, today we're just taking this time to celebrate many students' accomplishments over the last one to four years. And so let's just start off by giving a round of applause to all the graduates in the room. So, also today, you're going to get to hear from three of our graduates this year from three different partner schools. So they'll be joining me up here to give some remarks and some speeches. And so I'm personally really looking forward to that. We also will um, take some time to recognize them and some of them have won awards and do things like that. So if you need to step out during the program, please feel free to do that. And then following that, we'll have cake and the reception time together. Um, to begin our time together, I'm going to invite Dr. Rick Edmond to come to the podium and he's going to share some words with you. Rick is the department chair of management. He is also the MBA committee chair he oversees the Center for Entrepreneurship in Hanson Hall and a whole bunch of other hats that he wears here at Fort Hayes. He's a great partner to Global Affairs and also a huge supporter of all of our um, international students here on campus. So please give a round of applause as Rick comes to the stage. Hi, first I want to say congratulations to all of you because if you just look around at yourselves, there's a word that can be applied today, and that word is you are successful. Right? You come here, you've been ambassadors for your nations, you've been ambassadors for your universities, and you are courageous. And when I say you're courageous, I mean that you've stepped outside of your own culture, you've stepped outside of your own families, you've come to a place where you have to speak every day a language that isn't your native language. That is courageous. And for anybody who hasn't lived and worked internationally, you don't know how courageous it really is of these students to come here and do such things. It's a mighty deed. It is truly a mighty deed. And to thrive in that environment is not easy. But they have. And they become alumni. They become honorary Kansans and they become tigers for life. But you know, there are so many other things that they do. They have been culturally adaptive, but they have truly been ambassadors. So when an ambassador is meant to be somebody who represents their nation or to represent their home university, and all of these students have. I have not had the privilege of, of knowing most of these students, and I'm sorry for that. The one student that I've had that graduates today, that I've had the privilege of getting to know very closely, is Mohammed Didi. Muhammad is sitting over here. And I will tell you that Muhammad, I have seen so much personal and professional growth in him. I am so proud of that young man. In the same way that I know that your families and your friends are so proud of you. So I just want to say thank you. I'm appreciative that we have so many partner universities that send us such fine young men and women. And I hope that we have more in the future and I hope that you stop by my office and I hope that you come to my home because that's really where I'd like to have you. So thank you very much and I say let the party begin as soon as Haley's done with her agenda. So the first partnership that we are going to highlight in today's program is our partnership located in Cambodia. And this partnership school is called American University of Phnom Penh. And we began partnering with them in 2016. And we have four students here with us today who have made a very long journey to be here to celebrate their graduation. They completed their entire degree program with Fort Hayes Online while studying at the home institution in Phnom Penh. And so today we want to recognize and celebrate them and the journey they took just to be here to walk across that stage and have that moment of accomplishment. So I'm going to invite one of our tourism and hospitality management students to the stage to share a few words with you. So please give a round of applause as Jennifer comes to the stage. So greetings, ladies and gentlemen. 
My name is Jennifer Stru. On behalf of the Cambodian student who did the dual degree program majoring in tourism and hospitality management from AUPP and Fort Hess State University, we would like to express our sincere thank and appreciation to the faculty and staff who guide us in our academy journeys. And of course, to our families and friends, especially those who are present here to the uh, pure love and support love over the past four years. AUPP and Fort Hayne University gave us the chance to be here and fully graduate with the prestigious dual degree towards the greatest experience to us uh, uh, we all ever had in our life. Um, thank you AUPP for offering me the scholarship and a chance to learn and grow during my university life. So as the experience that I volunteer with the school doing some um, club activity and um, to my next generation to earn the experience together for our school and society as well. Thank you guys. We'll have all of the AUPP students join us in just a moment on the stage. But next, I'm going to invite the Chair of Tourism and Hospitality Management to give a special award. So please give a round of applause to Dr. Stacy Smith. Thank you very much. Um, this is such a fun day and I'm excited to be here. First of all, congratulations to each and every one of you um, for your commitment, your hard work towards your degree. This is a big moment that's going to support you as you move forward in your journey. So that congratulations also extends to the friends and family uh, along with a big thank you because you're supporting these graduates. Nobody reaches these milestones on their own. So I thank you for your support and encouragement to them. The world is a better place because of travel and tourism. We just need more of it. This is an industry that touches people every single day and does what it, it teaches us about each other. We learn from each other. We care about each other. And from those connections that we make, we have a better understanding of the world around us and the amazing things that we can do together, just like we're doing today. I'm extremely proud of the connections that we have made with the AUPP students. You are all fantastic, hardworking, intelligent students who are going to do great things in tourism, as tourism professionals, and make the industry better. Today I have the pleasure of awarding an Outstanding International Student Award, which is always difficult because the students are all amazing. But congratulations to Neith um, on this excellent award. If you could please come forward. One more thing, we have a special message for our AUPP students, so we're going to turn our attention to the screen. Hi, I'm Ray Leos, Associate Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs. Congratulations to the class of 2023. We hope to hear a lot from you in the near future and good luck in your future endeavors. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Ricardo, Chair of the ICT program in AUPP. I want to congratulate to all the AUPP class 2023 for your achievement. Um, don't forget that this is just the end of a chapter, but another uh, exciting chapter is in front of you in the real world. Do your best and I'm sure you will uh, achieve everything you want as long as you put effort and passion. Per aspra ad astra. Dear AUPP graduates, well done on your remarkable achievement of graduating from the dual degree program with Fort Hayes State University. This is indeed a momentous milestone in your life that deserves to be celebrated and cherished. As you step into the next chapter of your journey, I want to take a moment to express my heartfelt congratulations and extend my warmest wishes to your future endeavor. Completing your university education is a testament to your dedication, hard work, and perseverance. May your journey ahead always be filled with exciting adventures, with many success stories, and may you leave a lasting legacy wherever you go. My very best wishes for a bright and prosperous future to all of you. Hello, all graduates. 
Today is your special day. I'm so happy for you. And congratulations for your degree. I know you work very hard and you deserve it. You earn your degree. Some of you may decide to go to graduate school. Some of you may like to work for a while. And some of you may like to do something you like to do. Whatever you do, I wish you all the best and success in your life. I know I will miss you around. And please stay in touch. Congratulations, class of 2023. You have made it. Good luck in your future endeavor. All right, so will all the AUPP graduates please come to the stage? We also want to take a moment to recognize the family members of the AUPP students who have also made the trip to come celebrate with them. So if the family of our AUPP students would just stand and be recognized. Our next partnership that we are going to highlight is the partnership that Fort Hayes has had with CIOS University. And as many people here are maybe more familiar with that than with AUPP, what is unique about this year is that we are celebrating the very first cohort of MBA 1 plus 1 students who have come um, through a new arrangement with CIOS and Fort Hayes. So the graduates that we are about to recognize did one year of their MBA in China at CIOS and then did their final year of their MBA here at Fort Hayes. And so we're excited to see this first cohort graduate and to continue to see this arrangement with CIOS can um, be very successful moving into the future. So now I have the privilege of inviting two colleagues and friends of mine to the stage to give some remarks for the CIOS students. So please welcome Bonnie and Zoe. and I'm a graduate student major in business administration. It's so excited to stand here to share my campus life and experience in Fort Hayes State University. Time is so fast, I can't believe I'm already graduate. It's a, li a little bit sad. Recently, lots of people were ask me a same question. What is the most valuable thing you have here? My answer is, joined the Global Affairs Office and become a member of Global Ambassadors. This is one of my most valuable experiences. I have met a lot of international students. They come from different countries. We have a great time meeting every week. We will accomplish various types of video shooting together, participating in various interesting activities and fun games and be with everyone was really happy and relaxed. I felt my fair force was recognized. Every moment we experience together will become a memory that I will miss forever and not be copied. And for me, every day in Fort Hayes State University is very comfortable and free. We go to class on time every day and we do homework busy. We go for a walk with our friend in the morning when the weather is nice. We go to the gym, go for a swim to get some fresh air. You know, it's so difficult to describe my truly feelings in words. But I want to say I really, really love Fort Hayes State University. If I have a time machine, I must go back to the day that I first came here. Um, honestly, living and study at Fort Hay State University has been an unforgettable experience. Every professor and friends, they treat me very nice. I really appreciate that. So every time when I feel homesick, these moments can warm me. Uh, at last, I hope everyone you have not yet graduated can cherish every day. Mm, no matter where I am, I will always remember I'm a tiger. Thank you.
Hello everyone. As we gather here today to celebrate our graduation from Fort Hay State University, I want to take a moment to reflect on the journey that has brought us to this point. When I first got here, uh, I, when I first got here, I told Bonnie, "This is not the place I want to leave." <laughs> but here, it's really hard to say goodbye. We have worked hard, studied long hours, and per per persevered through difficult challenges. We have formed last, lasting friendships and forged relationships with mentors who have inspired us to reach a new heights. And we have learned the skills and knowledge that will enable us to make a difference in the world. But I didn't do this alone. I stand here today because of the support of my family, my friends, and communities. And I also stand here because of the partnership from between Fort Hay State University and CS University. This partnership has given me a unique opportunity to learn from two world-class institutions. Each, with them, each, each of them has their own strengths and their perspectives. I have been able to experience different cultures, gain new perspectives, and develop a global outlook that will serve me well in the years to come. But this partnership is more than just a collaboration between two universities. It is a symbol of the power of collaboration itself. It is a reminder that when we work together, we can achieve great things. Just as the saying goes, teamwork made the dream work. As we, for, as we forth from this momentous occasion, let's remember the lessons we have learned and the rela relationships we have built. Let's continue to work together to collaborate, to listen and learn from one another, and to strive for excellence in all that we do. And I'm so grateful uh, for the time that I have had at Fort Hayes State University. I enjoy the work as a global ambassador. It is the best memories I've had. And I'm so excited for our delegations but they are going to meet at CS University to continue to grow as partners. Congratulations, everyone. We have accomplished so much already, and I can't wait to see what we will achieve in the years ahead. And I wish everyone a good summer, a safe travel, and a bright future. Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie and Zoe. Um, we have a short message for our students from CS. Hello everyone, my name is Sherry from the Office of International Affairs of CS University. I'm so happy to hear that all of you guys will graduate this June. Please allow me to represent the CS faculty to give you sincere congratulations on your graduation. We are here to see all of you guys again at CS. Congratulations! Will all the CIOS graduates please come to the stage to be recognized? <laughs> all right, one more round of applause as they take their gifts. The next partnership that we are going to highlight and recognize is the partnership that we have with Dakar University of International Studies in Senegal, Africa. And in um, March, I had the privilege of going and learning and visiting this partner school, and I was just amazed at what I saw was going on at, that, at this particular partnership. Dunis is a very unique arrangement compared to our other partners. And so to put it in what helped me in American terms is Dunis functions like an international community college where when a, a high school student decides that they want to apply and go to Dunis, they know from that moment that they will study abroad to earn their four-year degree. And Fort Hayes is one of many choices that a Dunas student has when they decide where they would like to study abroad and continue that degree. And so as we begin talking more about this partnership, I just want to say thank you to the Dunas students who are here and who chose Fort Hayes to be their university of study. We're really grateful that you're here and that we're really excited to celebrate your graduation today. Um, we are, have some, uh, actually a few special messages for you from family, friends, and um, colleagues back at Dunas. Hello class of 2023, congratulations, you guys did it. You guys took a huge step on the road to success. 
and we gotta keep moving forward. Now it's on to your masters and hopefully doing bigger and better things in life. We'll see you back and we love you guys, we miss you guys and congratulations. Hey Bestie, congratulations on your graduation. I'm very happy for you. I know it wasn't easy, but I always knew you could do it. I always believed in you because you're a very smart girl, you're very gorgeous, and the best sister one could wish for. We're all very proud of you, and we wish that we were there to celebrate it with you today, but hopefully we'll get to celebrate it together very soon, inshallah. I just wanted you to know how proud I was of you, um, that I love you, and that you're the best sister ever. Congratulations again. Congratulations. Congratulations to my Hadi. Your mom is proud of you. I wish you the best. Love you. We are very proud of you and hope you get to show more in the future. Enjoy your moment. Hello, my eldest daughter. Congratulations. The whole family wishes you a happy graduation day. Remain persevering and courageous. Nothing is impossible for you. Good luck and more challenges for other degrees. We wish you a long life and strong health. Cheers, baby. Bye. Hey, Roshu. Congratulations for your graduation. I hope you're proud of you, because we are. Bisous. Love you. For your graduation. And we are wishing for you the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thank all American people, all your teachers, all people of uh, For Ice University. And thank you very much. I think that one of these months or one this is Will be will have the possibility to come to appreciate your university area, your environment, and thank you to all and thank you to your teacher. Hi Salim, I'm sorry I can't be there to celebrate your graduation with you, but I want to take a moment to congratulate you on this amazing achievement. I know how hard you have worked to get to this point and I'm so proud of you. You proved that with hard work and dedication anything is possible. This graduation represents a new beginning for you and you, I know that you will make the most of it. I can't wait to see you. I miss you so much. Congratulations again. Félicitations à Marakiti, Mashallah, Kameya le Parkel, Lides, Inshallah, Tonon Laïdeme, Mashallah. Bonsoir, Ida, félicitations d'avoir fait ce parcours. Ça a été long, mais bon, c'est le bon Dieu qui l'a voulu ainsi. Mais très bien d'avoir rempli cette mission que Dieu vous donne. Nous souhaitons une bonne réussite pour la suite de ta vie, de ta carrière professionnelle. Que Dieu vous bénisse. Le Nyala Nyala, le Nyala Moubaka Maka Maka Maka. Tahawai Binyaï, Tahawai Nyala, Don Sindhigai. Gunchia, Yenem, Tahawai Yon Khamni. Tahawai Nyala, Don Akhiyaw, Don Akhiyaw, Don Akhiyaw, Don Akhiyaw, Don Akhiyaw. Good morning everybody. Congratulations Sister Aya for your graduation. I wish you all the best for the next step of your life. Hello everyone, congratulations guys. I'm so happy for you. Uh, I'm so proud. All of your hard work have led to this accomplishment, this moment of joy. Uh, I wish I was there with you, but I'm sending you my best wishes on your next one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, to our Duna students, I think it's fair to say that your family and friends are extremely proud of you. And I know that we have the extreme honor of having some of your family and friends with us today. So if you are a family member or a friend of a Duna student, would you please stand up and be recognized where you are? You can just stand up and we would like to appreciate you for coming. Yes, thank you. And 
I would now like to invite the graduates from Dunas to join us on stage to also be recognized. So that concludes the part of our program where we're recognizing and highlighting each one of our um, partnership universities and also the students here today who have um, completed their degrees and are about to return home. So next I would like to invite Dr. Jenny McCray up to the podium. She's the Assistant Vice President of, or Assistant Provost, sorry, Assistant Provost of Internationalization and Strategic Initiatives here at Fort Hayes and she's going to share some closing remarks with us. Please welcome Jenny. I didn't know you had all that stuff going on. I'm about to cry up here. I'm so proud. I'm bursting with pride. So to all of you wonderful uh, students and graduates, you are the embodiment of our mission at Fort Hayes to develop engaged global citizen leaders. We are so honored that you chose us as the place to learn and grow and we hope we have been worthy. You enrich our campus and our students and our community and our Tiger Nation in so, so many ways. We really strive through our international partnerships to bring FHSU to the world, but you bring the world to us and we are forever truly grateful that you do. Just think for a moment, really think about what global citizenship actually means it starts with a choice about becoming educated, about bettering yourself. You made that choice. And initially, you may have made that choice for any number of good reasons. But that initial choice, the desire to strive to become more educated and prepared for what life has to offer, is like a seed that's planted in you. And when it's nurtured and cultivated, it grows into something really powerful. Nurturing minds and hearts and souls really is a collective effort. Your families, your friends, your fellow students, teachers, and everyone who is a part of your educational journey here at Fort Hayes and at your home campus, we're all part of this wonderful collective effort where we cultivate and nurture each other. Pretty soon, you realize that your individual choice has morphed into an ethos, a value system, a desire to harness that collective power to go out and do good in the world, to truly understand a variety of perspectives about the world's challenges, to understand yourself and others better, to build global networks, to share knowledge, to promote justice, and to participate. That's how the ethos, that core value, then turns into action and problem solving, to doing. That is global citizenship, that is leadership, that is who you are. You are an engaged global citizen leader, and even better than that, just by your presence and participation in your learning and in campus life, you helped nurture others to become the same. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now go use that power and go act in the world. Thank you. Thank you to um, our administrators who joined us today. I, I saw Dr. Jill Armstorff, uh, Mr. Wesley Winch, and Dr. Joey Lynn all here celebrating our partnership graduate students, and that means so much to us in global affairs, as well as I know to the students. And thank you also to the multiple departments represented um, and just supporting your students as they celebrate this accomplishment. And so, and finally, thank you to the families, the friends, and of course, the Fort Hayes students who are here today. Thank you all for being here and have a wonderful weekend.